I love, I love doing this drop. The first, the stick's going to drop, and there you go. So that's good, and then bring it back up, and I'll take it. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, Mini Movement Man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are interested in learning how to incorporate more movement into your life. This series is an inside look into some personal training sessions with one of my clients, Nathan Toshiro. We're starting off our session with a warm-up. I call this the drop the stick drill. I got this from Ido Portal. Basically gets you to move your body around in a bunch of random ways and really starts to get the blood flowing. Obviously you can see here that there's a lot of movement going on. Anticipate. You need to let things kind of come to you and you need to have this natural ability to just kind of like go with the flow. And up next we have another stick drill and with this one here I'm just having Nate stay within a certain area on the basketball court and he just has to avoid the stick and once again these drills are all about reaction, coordination, timing, distance, rhythm, all these qualities that can really be transferred to any particular sport that you play. If you get better at understanding these variables, then you can apply them to whatever you would like to in the future. Let's start by doing the spinal waves and see how those are progressing um, on the post. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's so the reason why I'm having Nate practice these spinal waves is because he tends to carry a lot of tension in his body. I think that most people tend to have the same quality within them. So with the spinal wave in particular, what you're doing is you are breaking up the spine into segments and you are moving each portion separately. So you're making a stronger connection from your mind to your body. Therefore, when he goes to move in the future, he's going to be more aware of these parts and he's going to be able to keep them loose or keep his body nice and responsive. As he's moving around here, you can see that he is gaining the coordination. It's a little choppy, then it gets a little smoother. Now we're working the wave from the top down. The reason why I'm having him do this up against the post is because he is getting kinetic feedback with his body from pressing it into the post. So this is going to help him learn how to sequence this movement. side, dropping the hand, swing that first leg all the way around, it should come right to about here, now transfer all your body weight here, and then swing this leg all the way here, back to a deep squat, and then stand up, deep squat, planting the hand, coming around, and then standing up, planting the hand, good, planting it, a little back and pretty far, so that's starting to stretch you out. So put the hand just right where it falls. So speed or momentum. So we're gonna come down. As you put, as you lean to plant, that's where your momentum starts. You're leaning, your body comes here, and then it just sort of just spins right around, all right? This is just a continuation of some patterns that we have been working on. Once again, you don't get better at something if you don't practice. Practice makes progress. Also, if you are interested in online personal training, this is something that I do offer. There is information in the description below, so make sure you check that out.
forward, then that part of the arm stays up. A little closer in. So don't stretch out so much. Now try it on the other side. Now you're gonna arch and engage your lats. Nine, eight, don't lift the hips any higher. Five, four, three, two. Now go back to your active hanging position. Get those shoulders all the way open and stay active. And now go into your passive hang and then you can walk it up. For the last portion of our session, we're working on the active arching hang. This will help him progress with his ring patterns. If you are interested in purchasing a pair of rings or if you would like to purchase a kettlebell, I actually have a link to them in the description down below. I'm a partner of the Amazon affiliate program, so I will get a percentage of the proceeds. This is one way that you can help support my channel by purchasing these products through the link below. If you want to learn more ways to help incorporate more movement into your life, make sure you click the video up above right now. This video was an inside look into one of my personal training sessions. As always, this is Mini Movement Man saying, be kind to one another. Peace. <laughs>